Is it really possible to make $438,000 in revenue on Etsy in your first full year with one product type? Yes, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot wait for you to meet Eric Soto. Eric is one of my students. He is 24 years old. He's from Minnesota, my home state, and he is an incredible hardworking business owner. Eric did not have any background in e-commerce. He went from working really tough long hours at a warehouse to now being a full-time Etsy shop owner where he is not only supporting himself, but he was able to buy his dream home for him and his fiance. If you are looking for a realistic approach to Etsy, he shares what it took for him to get to that point. He's been an amazing student to work with, so I can't wait for you to meet him. Welcome back to the podcast, Etsy Seller Success with Dylan Jaras. I am so excited to have not just one of my top students, but one of the Etsy sellers that I truly, truly admire, Eric Soto. Welcome to the podcast. Pleasure being here. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Now, Eric is someone who I met, let's see, like October. October of previous year. So over a year now, basically you've been a huge success on Etsy um, rather quickly. A lot of people think, oh, Etsy is so saturated, but I would love for you to share kind of what you were doing before Etsy and then how you even came to the platform. So I found out about Etsy early 2022. I've also heard as well, like, oh yeah, it's going to be saturated. Oh, don't do this. Don't do that. And I almost fell for it, but I was like, you know what? I got nothing to lose. Let's do it. I got introduced to e-commerce back in 2020 so about four years ago prior to that i was working at a nine to five job and it was like a warehouse job during the time i was about 20 years old throughout the two or three years that i've been working there i realized like wow what am i doing here like i looked around the racks is this really it like is this gonna be my life first i actually i, I got introduced to amazon fba i watched an ad on youtube i was like that's interesting i didn't know like there was like online businesses that you could make money five months later i created an account at least i tried but I got banned. I submitted like about 10 times. And next thing you know, I got a message, an email saying you can no longer submit. You can no longer create accounts to this IP address. It's like, no, oh my gosh. I was like, you know what, whatever. Maybe this is not meant to be. During the process while I was doing research on Amazon FBA, I came across a bunch of like Shopify, building websites, selling products on there, being the middleman. I made my first Shopify store. It was electric toothbrushes. It, didn't turn out well. I was I was <laughs> new. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I had to learn Facebook ads, Google ads, all that. I think it was like six months. I actually started gaining some money, but I realized a lot of the money was going to advertising. So I was mainly losing break even. I was just lost. I was like, you know what? I got to do something. I got to I gotta figure this out. I don't know why I keep failing because I knew it was possible. Was your like family asking like, Eric, like, what are you doing? You're losing all this money. Or are you doing these side hustles kind of on your own? It was mostly on my own and during the time it was just my girlfriend she understood she knew like i just wasn't gonna give up and she's always been a like a huge supporter of me so i really appreciate that then january of 2022 is when i found out about etsy and it was actually because of a lady who was working at my warehouse i was interested i was like okay never heard of this before after work came home right away and when you started on etsy what products did you start with i originally was gonna try to start are like resin i don't know like resin molds but then i realized that would take a lot of work i was just in my thinking mode just writing down all these ideas and i came across men's wallets and then i searched out men's wallets and i see that you could engrave them so i was like okay that's interesting i looked into that you know a lot of engraving machines big price range you know i got the cheapest one five hundred dollars five hundred dollars that's crazy just so everyone knows like five hundred dollars that's a couple years ago right what have you made on etsy in total since then hey, let's say in revenue i actually have it pulled up right here about seven hundred thousand. dang eric that's amazing for someone with no background in e-commerce a lot of people think oh he just got lucky but it was persistence. Like you tried and failed several ideas, business ideas before this. What do you think it was that helped you really get traction with Etsy? I strongly believe is customer service. Mm. Trying to get those five-star reviews is the best. For you, what has been a key part of that experience and that customer service? I remember in your course that you mentioned about how you gotta work that extra hour from, you know, compared to like the competitors. Till this day, actually, I give like a little message to every single customer I get, no matter what, I, there's not one I miss. Like, you know, thank you for purchasing and all the fulfillment process, the delivery, everything, you know, they, they love it. That's amazing. And I remember your first, I think it was your first Q4, you had a month that was like over 80 
2000. And I remember you saying like, this is so stressful. I'm going to have to buy another laser. And how was that process of scaling? Are you, are you a one person show or how have you been able to scale this? What's crazy is it is still kind of me and I'm kind of regretting it because I could technically hire more people, which I'll get into that soon. Luckily, my fiance and I, she's the one that helps me pack while I engrave order. So yeah, I currently run two engraving machines during the Q4 season. Yeah, it gets really busy and I do regret not hiring people. I'm guilty of it. I had to put my shop in pause. So I missed out on a lot more. You know, I saw that, Eric. I have to tell you, I saw you were on vacation mode and I, my heart broke because I'm like, oh, the opportunity. And that's amazing that you're doing this with two engraving machines. Now, these are these two of the $500 ones? I've invested in other engraving machines that are way more expensive, but I realized that these two little ones, they're fast. I can just get orders done with those. Which is that? Is that the X-Tool 10 watt? Yes, the 10 watt and I have a 20 watt. You guys are doing this. Your margin is insane. What kind of margin are you working with? It's about 60%, 60, 70. Yeah, 60 to 70. That's pretty healthy for a handmade business. Are you, are you working like seven days a week or what does that look like for your life? During Q4 season, yes, I'm working seven days a week nonstop. I, you know, knocking out orders, 100 orders per day easily. Around this time, Q1 is somewhat slow. I mean, it's been very good for me this year than last year. Now it'll take about three hours to finish all my work. Three hours a day? Yeah. And it's pretty healthy. Yeah. I would say that's a really great work-life balance. And you're over 20K per month pretty easily, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Is it over 20K profit, do you think, by this point? Maybe 15K profit. For three hours a day, that's really great for being 24, right? That is truly life-changing from when we met, I think you had either just quit your job or put in your notice. I did actually, yeah. Were you living with your fiance's parents? Yeah, still till we just got this home three weeks ago. Thanks to Etsy and thanks to all the hard work, we actually, we just got our dream home. That is incredible. And a lot of people come up with all these excuses to why they won't be successful. I don't have time. I don't have the right product idea. What would you say to them when they're giving themselves these excuses to not take action and make it happen? As cliche as it sounds, to me it's like, it's just don't give up. When you're lost, you just got to keep pushing because you will eventually either find the right product, find success. Don't give up. Failure is not an option. You know, your life, how has the success changed it? I mean, you got your dream home. Like, what does the future even look like for you now? Well, I hope to keep growing the business. I 100% am going to be hiring for Q4 this year. It's going to be really huge. I hope to hit half a mil revenue easily this year. But as a, for the future, I'm going to keep trying to expanding, adding new products, jump out of Etsy more, maybe real estate, all these other things. So really different income streams? Yeah, I definitely need to do that. That's great. Last year, I think you wrote in our group that you did about 438,000, right? That's right. So half a mil, I mean, Eric, I think we should <laughs> increase that. <laughs> Like how much growth did you see between the previous year and then this past year? I think it's double for sure, easily. Yeah, it's grown exponentially. What does your fiance think about all this? She's very proud, of course. She's mind blown. She's mind blown that someone like me as like, you know, young 20s is able to do stuff like this. It's unbelievable. This is setting you guys up for an amazing future. What would you say to people who are thinking about getting started? Or maybe they don't have the idea and they're kind of where you were. They tried a bunch of things. And what would you say to them? And she's not saturated. That's for <laughs> sure. Keep looking for the right product. If one product doesn't work, it doesn't hurt to try another. Yeah, that's good. Not getting too set on one idea. I think a lot of people think you need a million listings in order to make 438,000, but you had like less than less than 100, oh, right? Possibly just five of my listings is what made at least 400K. So those are what we call power listings where they're pulling a lot of weight for you. Did you do anything special or any special tips or tricks that you would want to share that got them there? Well, I mean, there's really nothing special. I just been putting my listings on sale. That's mainly the big thing. Otherwise, a lot of my customers really purchase because of the reviews. Once they purchase, they're like, I believe this is going to be a really great product. We're excited to have it. We see the reviews are really nice and all these. So that's a huge asset to your business and your brand. Yeah. And if you would like to direct our viewers to check out your shop and to purchase from you where can they find you yeah it's called premium engrave and you can see all the leather products 
I mean, you're such an inspirational story, Eric. You know, a lot of people think, I don't have a background in this. I don't know what I'm doing. Can I be successful? But you are proof that if you put your mind to something, if you have Wi-Fi, right? If you have internet access, like you absolutely can be successful with Etsy. And if you would like to connect with Eric and follow his journey and follow his shop and support his business, definitely check out Premium Engrave on Etsy, his website. I think we should do another um, meetup at the end of the year, talk about hiring, and then also talk about if you hit your half a million goal. Yeah, of course. All right. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Pleasure being here. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this inspiring interview with Eric. If you would like to learn more about the strategies inside the Ultimate Etsy course, which he used to scale his Etsy shop to $438,000 in its first full year, definitely feel free to schedule a call with myself and my team. And on this call, we can go through your shop, we can take you through the program, and we can show you exactly what it would look like for you to apply our strategies to your business. We will leave a link to that free call for you in the comments. If you'd like to see more interviews like this, please subscribe to the channel because we have more of these coming out. The month before I started the program, I made $696. The first month after joining the coaching program, I made $4,149. And that came from 133 orders in my Etsy shop. 